let's create another program this is a continuation of what we are doing last time so we are looking at how you can add numbers but for a program we want to look what would happen if the user enters a sign that is either plus or minus we start by declaring the variables we have three variables that we have uh, there should be four variables that we have so you have the numbers that you are going to add on minus then we have the total that you get from the result of adding on minus uh, subtracting those two numbers and then you have the sign that the user is going to input then we are going to set all variables to zero meaning that when the program start all the values will be zero even after learning the program or after executing the program if you want to learn the program again all the variables will be zero we're going to set all of them to zero from there we are going to ask the user or people using the computer to enter the first number so they enter the first number and then once they enter the first, the first number you are going to set the first number into you are going to set our first number to the answer that you are going to get from the user your number one should be the answer that you receive from the user and remember when you talk about variables we are talking about Containers that you can use to store data that can keep on changing within the program or that can be used within the program. Then you are going to ask for the second number from the user. That one you can just duplicate and then you adjust or you modify. And then the answer that you are going to get from the user will be set to number two. You're also going to ask the user to enter a sign so an sign has to be either plus or minus sign because we are dealing with two condition one is the now the sign has to be either plus or minus so you just enter what you want the user to do Then we are going to set our sign as the answer that you'll see from the user. Just a continuation on what you have been doing. So you're going to set our sign to answer. And then now we are going to use a condition, a if condition. So you go to control. And then we use if then else so we want the first condition to be if the user enters a plus sign and of course we'd use the operators that we have within the program so you're going to say if the sign entered equals plus so the calculation that is going to happen will be adding the two numbers the total that we should get from the calculation will be you add the first number for plus the second number so you go to where you have variables and then you take variable number one and then you add you add variable number two from there that assuming that the user has entered the plus sign that will work what if the user enters a minus sign what are you going to do so you're going to put another condition and this is going to be you can copy that one and then you paste or here you have the condition you stop the program you can see it is executing so sign equals minus and then what are you going to do so you are going to minus the numbers so you are going to set our total to 
so you use the minus so it will be the first number minus the second number or it can be the second number minus the first number you can just put them there and you see what will happen you know the second number and I think what if I get time what I'll be doing next time I'll be looking if the number entered is bigger if the first number is bigger than the second number then you'll be subtracting the second number from the first number but if the second number is bigger than the first number it will be otherwise can you see how it will happen and then we are also going to put a condition that if the use has neither entered the plus or minus sign we are going to say an infrared sign has been entered so for our case we are just dealing with two sign the plus sign and the minus sign so any sign any other sign that is not plus or minus will be will not be used so and then we can execute our program so you enter the first number then the second number and then you can start with plus sign you see what will happen yeah it will it is giving the answer then you can try on the second uh, you can try again and then we enter the first number then the second number second number and we can try with minus sign then you can try with a sign, a sign that is neither plus or minus and we see what will happen and then of course the program is running so keep tuned for more tutorials